Have you heard folks speaking about the importance of soft skills? How soft skills are now becoming more important than hard skills to land you a job? Or how soft skills are crucial to job, career, and life success? Then this video is for you. In today's video, we'll be sharing seven considerations to improve your soft skills. What exactly are soft skills? And what can we do to improve them? Let's define what are soft skills. Personal attributes that enable someone to interact effectively and harmoniously with other people. You might have heard them referred to as non-cognitive skills, social and emotional skills, future skills, and the list goes on and on. I like to refer to them as human skills, as I don't believe that they're actually soft. They're crucial for everyone to have. They're often referred to as soft skills, as they're more difficult to measure. Whereas learning a hard skill, like math, 2 plus 2, you can easily assess if someone knows a hard skill. Soft skills are context dependent. Communication is a common soft skill. Am I a good communicator? Well, compared to how I was when I graduated, absolutely. Compared to let's say Barack Obama, I have a long way to go. Whatever you call them, soft skills will be the skills that will determine whether you're successful in your career or not. Which soft skills do I need to improve? There are many lists of soft skills and the top five categories that I tend to prioritize in importance are mindset, communication, social, thinking, and execution. Mindset includes sub-skills like attitude, adaptability, resilience, initiative, and coachability. Communication includes writing, presentations, everyday communication, and listening. Social includes teamwork, customer service, negotiation, conflict resolution, and cultivating relationships. Thinking includes learning, critical thinking, problem solving, design thinking, and decision making. Execution includes organizational skills, time management, productivity, and motivation. Other skills include creativity and leadership, and the list goes on. To improve, pick an area of focus, allocate time to gain knowledge in that area, time to put that knowledge into practice, and time to improve it. Here are a few ways to improve your mindset soft skills. Adopt a growth mindset. Know that you can do it. Henry Ford said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right which is a great summary of a growth mindset. And also understand that mindset is a choice. If you want to improve, make the choice to. If you want to improve your mindset for adaptability or resilience, put yourself in more situations where you need to change. In a situation where you might not succeed in your first attempt or where you might feel scared. If you want to improve your initiative, brainstorm and plan out what you can do. Imagine that you're the owner, what would you do? If you want to be more coachable, ask for feedback then plan to implement the feedback and ask if they notice a difference. Pick one area, improve, then move on to the next. Here's what you can do to improve your communication skills. Recognize that communication is not just one thing. What type of communication are you looking to improve? To improve written communication, like reports or essays, there are lots of courses, books, and podcasts that can help. Incorporating ChatGPT can be helpful as well. To improve presentation skills, like you might do in a meeting or as part of a pitch, you can join Toastmasters or do smaller presentations to your class or interest group and work your way up to longer and larger ones. To improve your everyday communications, like emails or water cooler chats or coffee chats, consider reflecting on your past experience and picking an element to improve on for future interactions. One important element of communication that is often overlooked is listening. Learn about things like active listening or listening levels. Pick an area of your communication skills that you want to improve and allocate time to improve it. If you're enjoying this video and find value from it, give it a like and share this video with a friend. Comment down below with your challenges in your job, career, and life. Now, let's continue with the rest of the video. To improve your social skills, you can put yourself in more team-oriented situations, like joining a team sport, and if you want to improve your customer service skills, consider volunteering in a role where you might have to help someone. If you want to improve your negotiation skills, how about asking for a discount the next time you buy something? And if you want to improve your conflict resolution skills, allocate time to learn more about conflict resolution techniques. Allocate the time and put that knowledge into practice and time to improve that skill. And if you want to improve your ability to cultivate relationships, allocate time to build meaningful connections. Make those connections, make them meaningful, and build on them for the future. Investments in your social skills can do wonders for your career success. To improve your thinking skills, evaluate how you learn best. Take some time to learn about memory techniques. It's a myth whether you have a good or a bad memory, and the reality is that you have a trained or an untrained memory. Techniques like memory palaces, linked lists, 
peg systems, the major system, and many others can help you not just learn more, but also retain more. A chapter in the soon-to-be-grad edition of my book has some more details. To improve your critical thinking, problem solving, and design thinking skills, take some quick online learning courses and consider joining a hackathon or a design thinking challenge, or even volunteering for consulting to put that learning into practice. You would likely also improve many other soft skills in the process as well. For decision making, take time to learn various decision making frameworks and paradigms. Take time to evaluate past decisions and use them for future ones. To improve your execution skills, learn more about different organization and time management techniques. Consider building a model week that incorporates non-negotiable time. Look at resources like the GTD Getting Things Done method from David Allen. Learn the difference between efficiency and effectiveness. Efficiency is about doing things right. Effectiveness is about doing the right things. Consider the 80-20 rule. What is the 20% that you do that produces 80% of your results? Also learn how to improve your motivation. Find your reason why what you're doing is important to you and arrange an accountability partner to help make sure that it gets done or make it so easy that it's harder for you not to do it than it is to do it. This video was brought to you by the Focus Inspired Academy. If you're looking for support in your career or job search, join us for e-learning content, weekly virtual group coaching, text access to our coaches in between sessions, and future apps and community to help you in your job search and career success. Check the link in the description box below for a free one month trial for supporting the channel. Remember to share this video with a friend. Let me know if you have any questions or what you're struggling with in your job search or career, and feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips on jobs, careers, and life. And YouTube recommends that you check out these videos next.